UAVs are an effective way to capture aerial imagery. We're capturing this aerial imagery to be able to convert it into 3D point cloud models. We're doing this in particular for infrastructure monitoring. The infrastructure monitoring may include levees, dams, and a few other cases. These items were identified by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation as part of their list on applications of UAVs. One in particular is snowpack in the mountains. This can be used to help identify avalanche risks. Another area of application is in habitat monitoring, classifying wetlands, forests, uh, the, the spread of wetlands, or the drying up of wetlands. Another area is the river corridor change detection. River corridors sometimes change, and UAVs can be used to detect that. Canal encroachments are an important part as well, as they try to maintain the canals through canal monitoring. Another area is flood risk and flood hazard analysis. Another area of application is in agriculture. UAVs could be flying over fields to determine what crops have been planted and also to monitor the productivity of those crops. The UAV sensors are not only limited to RGB cameras but could include thermal imagers or infrared. One of the areas of application for thermal imaging is in dam levee and inspection, detecting wet spots that shouldn't be there. Constant monitoring of the nation's infrastructure can best be accomplished by UAVs. They can regularly fly over areas of security interest. Another area that is identified by the USBR's archaeological site mapping and monitoring. This can be done to monitor areas of historical or cultural significance. A couple advantages of UAVs over traditional aircraft are they can fly closer to the ground, can be run with automated sequences, or cord can have coordinated flights such as multiple UAVs and are in general more safe than regular aircraft. The signals can also be translated to computers where they can be used with cloud computing to do a 3D analysis. Now 3D analysis over time creates a four-dimensional augmented reality to be able to detect areas of interest. We demonstrated some of these ideas and results by flying over an earthen levee. This earthen levee also had a spillway associated with it that we wanted to monitor. In particular, we monitored first of all the critical dimension that we'd also measured on land to be able to calibrate our measurements and be able to determine the dimensions of other parts of this spillway. We could come back later in the future and then fly over this area and measure these critical dimensions again or monitor for other types of abnormalities or other things that would cause concern. This augmented reality environment will both process the data and signal any problem areas.